How's it going, lads? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, what I've got for you is a brand new I rate your teams video. The cheap, fast, and reliable foot coins. Check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description. And use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. So, on Friday, Icon Swaps 2 got released. And I'm not going to lie to you, kind of underwhelming. Uh, I'm pretty underwhelmed by this Icon Swaps, in my opinion. It's just not as good as it's been in previous years. It could have been a lot better. Uh, I feel like EA have kind of missed the mark with this one. But that being said, uh, there are a few decent picks, in, in my opinion. And I think... What I would say is the best option is going to be the 81 plus pack, the 82 plus pack, and the 91 plus prime icon pack. Uh, however, if you're looking for just players, I think Overmars and, and Deco are a good shout. This card as a wide cam would probably be a fantastic card. The only issue is three-star skills, but apart from that, it's a decent card. And I think that Deco is a, a solid shout for seven tokens as well. It's just a nice card in general. Uh, good dribbling, good shooting, uh, good passing. Um, decent physicals, good stamina. I think it's just an overall a nice card, and, and they're both decent cards for the for the tokens. So if you're grinding for just players, I would personally go with Overmars and Deco. If you're grinding for packs, I go the 81 plus, the 82 plus, and the 91 plus Prime Icon. I think that's what I'm going to go for as well. Is 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 those? Um, oh, sorry, is it 91 plus? Am I thinking of that right? Oh, sorry, the 83. Yeah. I might have just butchered that. Maybe the eight, I think I'm thinking the 83 plus and the 91 plus, or the 82 plus, the 81 plus, and the Prime Icon Pack? I think I just messed that up. Look, I'm recording this at 5am. I do apologize. Uh, regardless, it might be the 91 Plus or it might be the Prime Icon Pack, but definitely go with the 81 Plus and the 82 Plus in my opinion. Also, I just want to quickly say, massive thank you to Noble Chairs for the free chair. I'm not getting paid for this or anything like that. I'm just So it's not, a, it's not a hashtag ad or anything like that. They sent me out a free chair. It's the Hero Black Edition, I think, and it is so comfy. I'm very grateful for it. Uh, that it is so nice. It's a really, really nice chair. It's got a great feel to it. It's made with quality materials as well. So I, I really like it. I'm just grateful to them. So I thought I'd give them a shout out in the video. Anyway, enough, enough waffling because I am shattered and I'm just going to say silly things now. Uh, we've got, uh, I rate your teams. So we're going to rate your teams. If you're wondering how to get involved, um, I'm tweeting out on a Saturday when to send in your teams. Uh, so make sure you follow me on Twitter, link in the description. And I all just, I quickly want to say, I'm trying to avoid teams with very similar players to what you typically see all the time. For example, I'm trying to avoid Mendy and Gomez at the back. You know, I'm trying to I'm trying to just look at different teams, some more fun teams. I'm trying to avoid the 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 annoyingly kind of overused teams, which I do apologize. I'm not trying to berate anyone that uses those players. It's just a bit boring. It's why I stopped recording it in the first place, just looking at the same teams constantly. So I'm trying to look for more refreshing, fun teams. Anyway, we've got Duke 8's team. He's got 1.2 million coins. Kante is tradable. In-game, he plays a 4-2-3-1 with Cantelo right back, Trent Alexander-Arnold CDM, and Grealish Ram. Uh, it's a solid team to you, Faye. You got, you're going to get the new Fafana. You've got wan at CB as well. I kind of wish I did wan -Bissaka. One of the cards that I wish I did, but I didn't do. Um... Marshall, I'm assuming, get will get subbed off for potentially one of your players. Uh, maybe maybe right in Kent, to be honest. Or, or like, I'd say you're probably going to sub Marshall off uh, towards the second half of the game. He's just the uh, the obvious option to in improve. Who you can improve to, I'm not sure. Maybe an icon will be the next uh, bet for you. Um, if you're going down the route, it depends what you're going in the swaps. If you're going down the route in swaps of going for uh, icon packs and, and packs in general, then, uh, then see what you get in like an icon pack before potentially going out and buying a uh, striker. But in terms of icon strikers with a million coins or 1.2 million coins, you've got a few different options. My personal favorite, I don't know exactly how much this card is. It might be cheap enough. It might not be. Oh, he's, he's too expensive. You're on, you're on PlayStation. He's too expensive. I thought he'd come down by now. Um, what's Prime Stoich saying? What price is he? Because I've just used Moment Stoich and he's incredible. Still too expensive? I don't know the market, man. Um, I've asked the chat and they seem to think that Butcher is a good shout or Kenny Dalgleish. So either of those will be a decent option to replace Martial. The rest of the team's quality though. Really good. I'm a big fan of Cancelo this year. Uh, I think he's actually quality. So I respect that using him. We've got Anton team next. Anton is a mod. He says 650k for improvements. Tradables are Carlos Alberto, Mbappe, and Neymar. Let's have a quick look. Your pilot has been kind of mental to be fair as well. Uh, this is a quality team. I like his team a lot. Um, so Mbappe, Neymar, and Carlos Alberto are your tradable players. What would I say with this team? To be honest, I really don't think you're at a point where you need to improve anything. This team is just absolutely quality. I would say, eventually, and you're obviously you're on 650k now, save up, potentially even sell Carlos Alberto, get yourself informed Kyle Walker at centre-back and put Tavernier at right-back, in my opinion. 
Um, and I say that because although Tavernier is a quality centre back, the the informed Kyle Walker card may it be 1.2 million coins or whatever it is, is just quality. I use it myself, and he's absolutely fantastic. Um, so I'd recommend using him at right centre back and putting Tavernier at right back. Uh, but apart from that, it's a solid team, and I respect your team's road to silver three. I bet with that team. You've got to be getting 30, you know, with that one. Uh, we've got Carter's team next. He's saying he's looking for a way to switch to a 4 one 2 narrow. You've got 300k and a red Lorente that you could use. Let's have a look. 300k and red Lorente. Well, I mean, you've got Torres. So red Lorente is going to get in easily, in my opinion. Um, you've, got the, you've got the resources to actually do this. What I would say is... Okay, so bang Lorente right forward and play him off Kem. Because you're already playing Pulisic off Kem. I would then say... You're playing in-game. Tonali sent uh, sent a defensive mid. Lorente is your left centre mid. Kante is your right centre mid. El Shadar is your cam. And then up top, you've got Torres and Immobile, in my opinion. Um, that's what I would personally go for. Um, the rest of this team is quality, though. Again, another one, another person using Fafana. Tadebo looks quality as well. This is a nice defence. I like that. I like that people are using the Fafana card as well. Uh, we've got Matthew's team. He says 4-4-2 in game. Kante is the only tradable player in the squad. 200k for upgrades. Just packed Prime Hernandez and a rare gold pack. Untradable too. Hey, that's kind of mad, you know. I respect that. I'd love to pack an untradable Prime icon. That being said, I've already got a team full of icons. So it doesn't really make a difference. Um, mate, get Nick Pope out of this squad. I don't want to see him, all right? Put somebody else in, please, for my eyes. Um, this is a good team. Realistically, you ain't got a whole lot you can improve on here. I think that, honestly, your weakest player in this whole team is probably Philip Lahm. It's not a bad card, but I think he's the weakest player in this whole team. I think the rest of this team is like is a, is a quality team. I think Philip Lahm is your next upgrade point. Um, you Obviously, you know, you've got time. So just kind of hold on to it, this team, play with it. Um, and then when you can, potentially just upgrade this Philip Lahm. Um, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could put record breaker Jane Sancho at right wing. It's an option, but I don't see the point. Um, so yeah, I'd probably say just Philip Blom is uh, is the next upgrade point of the team. Um, next team is going to be from uh, Macaulay Mead. If I butcher that, I do apologise. He says all untradeable. Then Bale is probably my favourite striker in the game so far. Really? To to be fair, in uh, in the was it one league the La Liga one league that Den Bale was destroying me. He was tearing me a new one. Um, I like this perfect link at the back as well. Kimpembe and Kazawa. That's a solid perfect link. Is there anything I'd improve on this team? Probably not. I mean, maybe you right winger. He didn't do headline Amarez, so he's sadly not a tradable card. He's an SBC card. If you did, if you did headline Amarez, that'd have been perfect. Are there any decent city right wingers that you could potentially use there? Um, I actually don't know about city right wingers. Did we have any special cards at all? Manchester City. How do I... There you go. Inform Mares is not a terrible shout. Not great, is it? I'm not going to lie to you. Um, yeah, there's not really a whole host of amazing options. If you play Salah at, at Cam, you could potentially save up for Freeze, uh, but not a Silver. Play him off Cam at center forward and then play him at Cam, maybe. That wouldn't be a bad shout because I've heard good things about Freeze, but not a Silver. Uh, the next team is going to come from Clerko. Can you rate my team out of 10? He got 1.1 mil, but don't know who to get. Maybe stri uh, striker, maybe CR7. Any suggestions for the striker? Yeah, I see the pickle you're in, realistically. Realistically. Right now is what I meant to say. I don't know why I said realistically. <laughs> Icon-wise, again, you could go with, with an icon. You can go with someone like... Um, you can go with someone like uh, Boutra, Kenny Gleish, maybe a mid Stoichkov, someone like that's not a bad shout. Um, the rest of the team is quality, though, to be fair. Very, very nice. How is Kessie? And is there a way to get Kessie on full chem here? No, there's not, is there? I'm trying to think there's a way to isolate Kessie and get him full chem, but I just don't think that there is an option. Nice team, though. A very nice team. I like it a lot. It's a solid, solid squad. Uh, out of 10, sorry, out of 10, I give it a solid 8.5 out of 10 just for the dead links. It's so, it, like, and it's not it's not really your fault. You just can't really do much with it. It's just frustrating that you've got so many dead links. You know, that's the only thing that I'd say. Um, in fact, with 1.1 million coins... You could maybe look at Inform Rashford. I guess Bruno full chem as well and would be on full chem himself. It's not a bad idea. Inform Rashford wouldn't be a bad shout. Um, chat has just said as well in the Twitch chat, swap Kyle Walker for Farner around and get yourself Theo Hernandez at left back. That's not a bad idea. And then you can get yourself Overmars at left wing as opposed to doing El Shadarway. Have more coins left over from not doing the SBC. Then you can get yourself... 
inform striker Mares, uh, sorry, inform striker Rashford to be on full chem. Everyone gets full chem that way. Not a bad idea at all. I'm glad we've got big brains in the Twitch chat. We've got Sam's team next. This is my team. I start like this and I switch to a 5-3-2 or a 5-2-1-2 in game. I've still been a talent right wing back and Kleber at CB. Uh, Ronaldo and Aguero have been amazing combo up top. I've been grinding 86 finder after weekend league can save coins for your suggestions. Aguero, eh? I tried him out. Wasn't a big fan, but to be fair, if he's working for you, he's working for you. Um, so you're playing a 5-3-2 or a 5-2-1-2. My recommendation would be play a fallback. Uh, no, I'm not going to be that mean. I'm sorry. I'm not that mean. Um, save up. Try and get yourself road to the final. Why now, Adam? I actually don't know how much this card is worth. I have it in the club, though, and he's, 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 he's quality. He actually gets into my team over icons. 600k. If you can save up for 600k for why now, Adam, go for it. He's quality. He gets in over many different icons. Um, yeah, and looking at this as well, having a strong link here doesn't get your your um what's his name oh my god what's his kunde doesn't get kunde on full chemistry um so you can get someone like hugo Lloris or just any french goalkeeper and he gets the same chemistry regardless um so it's not a bad shout um we have got thomas's team next he plays a 5-3-2 in game with Mane at left Mane at left wing back this one so i don't get how that works i just don't but it does because everyone destroys me with it. I just don't know how it works. And it frustrates the living daylights out of me. Um, got about 100k but can save up. All untradeable. I respect that, mate. Red Abamyang. That's nice. I would say with this one, your right back is the only place that I would potentially upgrade. And do you know what's perfect? Is that new right back from Storyline? Uh, is it DeShiglio? I feel like. Let me have a quick look. Yeah, DeShiglio. Go with this guy at right back, mate. Perfect. Gets the chemistry. It's lovely. Um, and then Emerson just gets retired after after falling out of the curve, I guess. Um, we've got Keiju's team now. Uh, Czech is the only tradable player looking to get future stars Reese James over Tavernier and play him CB. Any other recommendations or upgrades? Love the streams. You deserve the support. Thank you, man. Wow. I don't know why it's so blurry. I would say... Um, what would I say with this team? I would say that I genuinely could not even read those names. Uh, I think it's Wan-Bissaka right center back and Varane left center back. You look to play Reese James at centre back. I'd probably keep him at, at, at right back with Wamba Saka, to be honest. The rest of the team is just nuts, though. Red Ronaldo and Red Rashford. That is absolutely insane. That's a GG, to be fair. Collins team next, who says he got 450k for improvements. So you have Kante as well as untradeable, uh, and you don't know what to do for swaps. Get Deco, mate. Get Deco. I mean, base Gerard and inform Lingard are just not good enough. Get Deco and replace one of them uh, with Deco. Probably Lingard with Deco. Um, from swaps. Only seven tokens. And then you can use the remaining 12 for a 91 plus prime icon pack. Or no, sorry, the normal prime icon pack. I always get those mixed up. You can get the normal prime icon pack uh, for 12 tokens and you're loving life. That's literally the only upgrade I'd make with swaps there, to be honest. The rest of the team is in a good plot. It is in a good spot, mate. It's in a very good spot. Um, you've got we oh, Wesley. Wesley, 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 Wesley. Six mil for upgrades, by the way. 442 in game. That's honestly gross. Um, I don't like Neymar off chem on this right side. I cannot lie to you, brother. I'm not sure about Neymar over there. With 6 million coins, I would wait for Moments Best to drop a bit more and get Moments Best at right mid. That's so nice, mate. That team is just absolutely gorgeous. Get, bro. Bro. Wesley, I know you're an Elite 1 player. You're a far better FIFA player than me. Yeah, yeah, you get 28, 29 wins. I think he went 29 and 1, and he started at 4 p.m. on a Sunday and ended at 11 p.m. on a Sunday. He went 29 and 1. That's insane, bro. Fair play. But get Nick Pope out of here. Future stars Lunin at goalkeeper. Van Dyke gets full chemistry. Ramos gets full chemistry. Lunin gets full chemistry. Then get yourself a new right mid. Uh, I would say moments best when he drops a little bit as well. Um, you could probably afford him after trading. By the way, Wesley trades a lot. Just so you know, he's not just pay to win. He, he does trade a lot. Um, he, he's, he's a top 100 trader. Uh, that's how he gets his coins. Uh, mod in the stream, always in the stream. So massive shout out to Wesley. Absolutely legend. Um, and I think the last two we're going to go for here are... We have to do the last three now because I've already showed his name and I can't... I can't not do it when I'm showing your name. I'd feel terrible. So we've got Joel's team who says, Untradeables are Mbappe, Puskas and the SBC cards. So you play Mbappe and Puskas at Strikers in game. You only got 50k at the moment. Keep up the good work, bro. Killing it. Hey, thank you, man. You have mid-push, that's untradeable. That's dope. 
All right, 50k, not a whole lot to work with. What can we do? We absolutely can potentially get a better goalkeeper. Um, realistically, I feel like there's a better goalie you can get. Might might not be though. Again, I don't. I just the the five back just. I just don't get it. I just like it just goes in one ear and out the other for me. I'm just crap at the game to be fair. Uh, this team is really really nice. Um, I don't think there's anything you really can improve. Like the team is in a great spot at the minute. Um, again, maybe the Shiglio from storyline, but apart from that, like I don't think there's much you can do here. It's just a quality team. It's a quality quality team, mate. It's a quality team. Uh, we got Melvin's. Uh, oh, no. I scrolled down again. I've got to do another one. I've got to do Liam's now as well. So, we've got Zalesco's team now here. 3 5 2 in game. We sack a right mid, Rooney left mid. Love you, Vids. Keep up the good work. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that, man. Why is it so blurry? Man's got team of the year Mbappe, team of the year Van Dyke, future star Saka, Rooney left mid. Interesting. Look, you clearly know more about the game than I do because I have no idea why you're playing him, uh, why you're playing Rooney at left mid. I don't get it. This team's quality. This team does not need changing. It's fantastic. You do you, mate. It's a lovely team. Um, I don't have any input for this team. It's, it's really nice. Uh, Melvin's team now. Everyone first owned. And Babby gets subbed off for Kleber. 4 and 2 and 2 narrow in game. Interesting. I mean, it's a decent team. Um, I would say... Everyone's untradeable. Wow, I respect that. Or oh, everyone first owned even, sorry. Everyone first owned. I would say with this team... You've got three very defensive midfielders here. Maybe get one more offensive midfielder. Um, who that'd be, I don't know. Maybe like replace Kante with a Paul Pogba, someone like that. Someone a bit more offensive that can get forward a bit more. Because um, I feel like if you're playing a 4 and 2 and 2 narrow, just my personal opinion, it's really hard to play out in a 4 and 2 and 2 narrow if you don't have someone that can bring the ball quite well. And I feel like with three defensive mids, it's not that easy. Um. So, yeah, that's what I would personally do. Apart from that, the team is uh, is in a really good spot. And then the last one is going to be Liam's, who just posted a picture of his team, just straight up. didn't say anything about it. I'm I'm just going to assume that. I don't, I don't really know. Uh, I don't know anything about this team. It's a nice team, though. Very nice team. Um, I probably swap Alwar and Kante off the basis that Alwar gets a strong link with Mb uh, Mbappe and Kante will be on the Kante will be on the same chemistry as Alwar. But I will be on 10 chem, whereas Kante's on 8 chem. So you might as well swap them in game, uh, swap them around and then start them, you know, Kante at left mid and Alwar at camp. Uh, I don't know what you play in game, so I'm not going to tell you what to change. I think it's a decent team, though. Solid team. Uh, but that's going to be it for the episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below and subscribe if you guys are new around here. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. Links are in the description. Uh, I stream every day and uh, and you can find out when I tweet when we're looking for teams for irate teams. I want to thank you all for the epic support. We recently hit 185,000 subs and we're already on 185,500. It's been mental recently. So I'm very grateful for that. Thank you all for the love and I'll see you lads later.